Hey everyone, Josh here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to start a project with Evoto and show you some of its other useful features. Here we are with Evoto already opened up. We're gonna go ahead and create a new project. We're gonna title it and then hit the save button. And now we can import our images or folders simply by dragging and dropping or clicking on the browse button right here. You'll notice that the import process is very quick. All of our images will be at the bottom here and Evoto is exceptionally good with batch editing. We're gonna talk a little bit more about that feature in just a moment. A really powerful feature within Evoto is its color correction and color grading, especially when it comes down to the use of AI. To the right here, we're gonna click on the color adjustments tab we're gonna to go to AI color looks, just click on that, and you can start cycling through some of the different looks that Evoto has with AI color looks. You can also adjust the intensity of each of these looks. What's unique about AI color looks is that it can automatically adapt itself to your picture's parameters. You can also use AI color looks in batch editing. You can apply the same look to multiple photos that have different parameters, but the overall look will be similar. And to the right of that, we can make our manual adjustments, especially when it comes down to the hue and color temperature. You can go to the left for cooler or to the right for warmer which seems more like this picture's kind of vibe. Exposure is something that we definitely want to mess around with here because it seems a little bit too hot on the left side of her face. We can easily adjust the exposure by dropping down the slider just a little bit. That looks much better. And then we have other basic options such as highlights, shadows, whites, and blacks. And even vibrancy is here too, along with saturation. To the right here, we have the sync button. This will sync all of the effects that you applied to this first image that we edited to the rest in your album or project. And as you can see here, we get a very similar look to the rest of these photos. And you can use batch editing for portrait retouching as well. You can also adjust the sync settings, which will allow you to change what filter or what adjustments you want to be applied to the rest of the photos in your project. Once all of your settings have been set and all of the photos are selected, click on sync and the same type of look and effects will be applied to the rest of the photos. You can see the status of each effect being applied right here with this little circle. Now, if you're trying to apply this similar look to the rest of your pictures in this project, all you have to do is click on Save Preset and we can title this Warm Tones, for example. We can keep this under Basic Retouching or we can create a new group where we create this preset. I'm just gonna call it Preset Looks and then we're gonna hit Save. And to the right of this, you can choose what kind of effects you want to be applied within this preset. Is it gonna be AI color adjustments, the portrait retouching? I'm just gonna leave it at AI color adjustments. You can find all of your custom made presets right here to the left under my presets. Now, if you want this effect to be quickly applied to the rest of the photos in your current album or project, simply highlight the photo that you're currently editing and then select the rest of the photos in the project. Once you're done with your edits, you can go to the top right here and click on the export button. Here, you can export your photos to any destination on your computer or external hard drive. Under file settings, you can select your image format. I'm gonna keep this at JPEG. I'm gonna keep the quality at 100% and you also have the option to change the color space. And if you wanna protect your work, you can also add a watermark to each of these photos. Once you're happy, click the export button. And now all of your photos have been exported to whichever folder that you selected. So I hope this quick tutorial gave you some more insight on the useful features from Evoto. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and I'll see you in another one.